Why don't we start with you, Jessica? What are people doing right now that is right, and what are they doing that's wrong? Because I've heard a lot of stories where I kind of scratch my head, where I hear about uh, the, this kind of one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, well, I think everyone is a little bit confused because we have both a staffing shortage and we're about to have mass layoffs because everyone is afraid about the recession and inflation. So we have to remember that life is still, we are in a meritocracy. And in order to get ahead, you need to be able to understand the value that you bring to an organization. And you're not going to get a promotion based on how long you've been with an organization or whether you're willing to go into the office or not. You're going to get a promotion if you have specific things that you have contributed, the value that you have and examples of how you've done that. And you're able to present it to your manager. So knowing exactly what your manager wants and producing that is the key. Yes, and I would, I would say we all are kind of looking at this as a changed workplace, that nobody's going back entirely to the way it was before. But the reality is, who gets a raise, who gets promoted? Those are subjective de decisions that are made by managers. And knowing what your manager cares about, if they want you in the office, and that's what a lot of them want right now, how do you operate around that? You have to ensure that uh, you are always present, whether you're in the office, in person, or on video. We call this presence management. Presence management is the sense that you are around, in sync, and in touch. So some do's, you have to show up on anchor days, the days that your managers have set for people to come together. You have to be present. You have to contribute to a collaborative culture. Other do's, send updates on work tasks uh, periodically. Don't wait. Because of a hybrid schedule, we don't see people all the time. We need to make sure that work is feeling like it's moving forward. And finally, managers know that uh, talent management is not about whether there's a recession or not and that we lead because there are fears or not. You have to create a work culture where people show up when necessary, whether on video or in person, in order to feel like we're all there, we're all moving in the right direction, and, of course, we're also bringing value. Hey, Jessica, you, you mentioned that we're in this weird place where it's a strong jobs market right now, but we think things are changing. And Sadal just led to this idea that, OK, you have to manage your talent. We all like to think that we're talent. We all like to think we're indispensable. Are we going to find out that we're not, all of us, th those highly <laughs> coveted workers when the jobs market really does turn? Yeah, I think that some of us will find that out. I completely agree with everything that she said about being present, but there is a limit. You can take it too far. Being too present, being too focused on being visible can lead to burnout. And we're also <laughs> seeing the effects of that. That's the great resignation is people push themselves too far. They took productivity to its extreme. And now here we are with people saying, forget it, I'm not going to work. And that's another problem. So while we do need to be present, we also need to have boundaries and we need to be able to take vacation and when we're on vacation, actually unplug and be completely not present where we just don't even check email. Managers, too, they need to role model that behavior for their employees so everyone knows it's okay to check out. So, Sadal, let me ask you one more question. You make the point that you need to be able to come up with a list of things that you've done, or maybe Jessica made that point. You need to kind of be in their face to say, hey, I've done this. This is what I'm doing. This is what's going on. Is there a point where you just become too annoying I don't want to hear from you again. I don't want you in my office 12 times a day. I don't want you popping up on my screen from home 12 times a day to tell me how awesome you are and how hard you're working. That would be a good problem to have today. When I talk to managers of companies across industries, they say, I look around and I have empty offices, that we've mandated for people to return to the office, to be physically present, and people are still pushing back and resisting. So that's not the problem that we're facing today. And no one has time. What I'm talking about is not performative. What I'm talking about in terms of being visible and present is in order to feel like you are collaborating like you are present for clients, like you are present for your organization and the culture of your organization. So this is not anything about extremes. This is trying to get to the average point where managers are struggling uh, to do today. Mm -hmm.